The electronic movement analysis is a first most important step to diagnose the necessity of a functional pretreatment and not to overlook any dysfunction before the carrying out of any restorative measures. The diagnostic modules are listed in the lower lines of the main menu. With this module we can carry out a movement analysis by recording various movements. With the module for electronic positioning analysis, a variety of condyla positions can be compared. A combination of both modules is the EAEF module. We start the movement analysis and first we have to choose a reference axis. For this purpose the kinematic axis has proved particularly reliable as this is calculated from physiological movements. Please close. At first we carry out a measurement to calibrate the system. Then the position of the infraorbital point is measured. The measuring bow is removed and placed in the central position of the pointer. Please open your mouth and close your eyes. Protect the eye, use the pointer to indicate the infraorbital point and then take the position measurement. Please bite down again. The measuring bow is put back again onto the paraocclusal spoon. With maximal intercuspidation, the patient executes a protrusion movement, which is then recorded. She bites down again and an opening movement is recorded. From these two recordings, Digma calculates the kinematic axis point. As initial movements, several opening and closing movements are recorded. Please open and close several times. The measurement is ended and stored by pressing the OK key. Next, several protrusion movements are registered. With tooth contact, please move the lower jaw backwards and forwards several times. The measurement is ended and stored. Now the lateral trusion movements, left and right, are recorded. Please move the lower jaw to the left, return and bite down normally. Now to the right, return and bite down. This data is also stored. Next, the patient moves the lower jaw to the left, opens wide from this position in the middle line and bites down from the maximum opening. The same movement pattern is also carried out to the right. The data is then stored. There now follows a recording of Postle's diagram. Please move your jaw forward, open wide and bite down again. For the last recording we allow the patient to carry out a chewing exercise. Now please chew as if you had a piece of chewing gum between your teeth. Now chew well to the side. Yes, exactly so. Thank you, that's enough.
After storing the last measurement, we can now include a comment. In this case, we select Tooth Guidance. The selection is confirmed by using the foot switch and sending the data to the computer. Clinical and instrumental functional analysis is the basis of the finding survey. Arcastigma analyzes and documents all important information in a lucid form. 